Find the Firebase CLI page on Google. Choose your operating system. Choose the Firebase CLI installation option. I will use NPM. Open the NVM Windows page. Click Download Now. Download NVM setup.exe. Run the installer. Don't open PowerShell from the installer. NVM won't work from the System32 folder without admin rights. Open the terminal in the folder where your projects are stored. Check if NVM is working and see its version. Show the table of available Node.js versions. Install the latest stable LTS version. Switch to use the installed version. Check if NPM is working and see its version. Issue with PowerShell execution policies. Copy the link and open it. Scroll down to the section managing the execution policy with PowerShell. Copy the command to check all of the execution policies and paste it into the terminal. We need to change the execution policy for current user from undefined to remote signed. Go back to the browser and scroll down to the section Change the Execution Policy. This is what we need. Copy the command and go back to the terminal. OK, check all execution policies again. Execution policy for the current user has been changed to remote signed. Clear the terminal. Check if NPM is working again. All good. Go back to the Firebase CLI page. Copy the command to install Firebase CLI. Log into Firebase using your Google account. Choose your Google account. Success, we are logged in. Clear the terminal. Create a new Flutter project. Navigate to the project folder. Open the project in your ID. Run in the browser for testing. Everything is working well. Close this. Find the Firebase hosting page on Google. Scroll down and go to the Integrate Flutter page. Go to the Firebase console. Create a new Firebase project. Disable Gemini in the test project. Disable Google Analytics in the test project. While the project is being created, please support my channel, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you. Don't add Flutter web manually if we are only using hosting. Go back to the Flutter web integration page. Copy the command to enable the web framework's preview. 
In the terminal, we must be in the root folder of the project. Copy the initialization command for Firebase hosting. Select Yes. Select Use an existing project. Select the project created in the Firebase console. Select Yes. We should use an existing Flutter directory. Select the preferred region. We don't need automatic deploys with GitHub for now. Done. Firebase CLI has created two files. Go back to the ID. Without the Web Frameworks preview, hosting used the public option with the build web folder. Now Firebase recognizes the entire project and uses the source option with the Flutter root folder. Copy the command for the standard deployment, which will automatically trigger Flutter build web. Click on the project console link. Click one of the two links to open your website. Let's make some changes for testing. Deploy our changes. Remember, there's no need to run Flutter build web beforehand. With the Web Frameworks preview, Firebase does it automatically. Reload the page a few times or press Shift F5 for a hard reload and clear cache. All done. Give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you.